Mine's probably um, marrying this girl. Oh, 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 oh God. <laughs> He's a cannibal. Dude. <laughs> subscribe. Subscribe to oh Twitter. God. Subscribe to YouTube. <laughs> subscribe to Twitter. You're saying it for her because she's going to be dead. <laughs> <laughs> subscribe to Twitter. <laughs> All right, guys. I'm on the other side of the couch. I'm not used to be on this side. And you know why? You, you look weird. I do look weird, but it's because we have another guest, but they're not on this side of the world they're on that side of the world which is technically the same side of the world it's joel's wife anisa danner everybody there she, Welcome. Is. she made it i made it all the way from the living room i had to walk very a long far. walk i don't know what to say about her what i feel say? like um <laughs> before we were filming this um i said to dylan and i really really i i truly believe this i feel like of all the guests that we've had on Anissa has been truly the the most indifferent. I what would are you say that's about? fairly accurate. <laughs> yeah, I know because we've asked Joel before when he's been sitting there, and you're literally in the other room, <laughs> like, "Hey, why doesn't Anissa come on the show?" And Joel's reaction has always been something to the effect of avoiding the question. I honestly, I'm probably in the other room watching James Bond videos. <laughs> Like well, there's nothing wrong with James Bond. I mean, I, like I, no, no, I watch like let's, every single one. Let's be not, honest. Not movies, you're, videos. You're, you're watching Survivor. <laughs> Reruns of Survivor. I, I've also taken to watching... Old, they're all on Amazon Prime. Like, all, all of the old seasons. And they're fantastic. And I'm literally going to apply for the show. So... You're going to apply for the show? Oh, yeah. I No, I'm going to apply. Joel's going to help me with my tape? <laughs> N- not to be on the show, but to work for the show. <laughs> Wait. But, but, <laughs> Camera but, operator. But you said it like old seasons. Are they still... Is it still a show? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Survivors? Still current yeah. seasons. It's it's like, what? How many seasons now? 30 something? There's Almost like, 40 seasons? Yeah, there's probably. a lot. There's quite Who's a few. the host? Who's the host? Jeff, Jeff Probst. BFF. I know TV. that. Pr- that. Host by name now. Th- that fact, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, I feel like a, the, their name rings a bell. I can't put a face to it. But either way, I wish you the best of luck, Anissa. <laughs> Thank you. Well, well, here's the thing is that I, and I have, if people have asked, obviously I have a fiance. We've talked about her a few times. Cody has uh, his old girlfriend there. His old girlfriend. Old. The old She's girlfriend. 49. Um, and they're like besties. <laughs> and they're usually hanging out behind the scenes when we record these things. So Anissa is not unique to the situation, and I have been lobbying very hard to get all of the girls on the podcast by themselves, not with the guys around, just for them to do their own solo episode. But there was a few dissenters, and I don't think Anissa is one of the dissenters. I think she would be the one advocating for that. So Who, who has been the uh, on the opposition side of, of that lobbying? Take a wild guess. <laughs> it's, it's basically... Uh, the old, uh, basically, mine and Cody's ball and chains have been the dissenters. Well, balls. but uh, <laughs> yeah, uh, but if it's if if someone needs to drive it, I don't blame them. That's it's one thing to be on it; it's another thing to be responsible for it or to drive the conversation. Otherwise, it's I would feel like yeah, there'd be a high opportunity for awkwardness. I, I agree, and I don't think it would be them two, but I think Anissa could drive this. And speaking I can of drive which, it. Anissa, you can drive this episode. Tell us what we're going to talk about today. Okay, today um, I came across a psychology study that identified 36 questions you ask someone and you will fall in love. So I'm going to ask you all some of these questions. What if you, what if you fall evening. in love with the person yeah, you're asking? Yeah, I don't want to break up any marriages here. But, um, <laughs> no, but hold on, because we talked about this before we started filming. It, is it explicitly for the purpose of falling in love with someone or, or just getting to know someone? Because you also said you could, like, you, you could have this... Um, What's the difference? You, you, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, you, you, could, you could go through this exercise with a best friend and become closer to them. But you keep saying, and you will fall in love. Well, that's, that's what the study claims. But really, the questions are meant to... Um, like. You, you have to tell the truth about something and it makes everybody feel vulnerable. And so by sharing those thoughts, you become closer to whoever you're con- conversing saying, with. Saying yeah. love is the marketing behind that. It sounds more sure, extreme. Sure, but, but it wasn't the impetus for the questionnaire, it sounds like. It's just wherever she found the list. Well, but, we'll find out what happens. Oh, okay, let's so go here's question the thing. one. Uh, let's start. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so here are some of the questions. You're not pulling it up fast enough. I'm trying. Oh my gosh! For <laughs> podcast ever. 
<laughs> have you guys already done this together you two what that's why they're married no. is, is this why you fell in love <laughs> yeah yeah she we resisted yet. I, real I hard want to. these are the first questions. times i've seen these questions yeah. mm-hmm. okay uh dylan let's start All us right. off if you could invite anyone in the world to dinner who would it be uh josh i'm in love with you <laughs> 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 uh, li- living or dead? It works. Or dead. It works. Guys. <laughs> it works. It's magic. <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm assuming this is a living people only. People that are alive. Like this let's, is not. No, let's, let's say anybody dead or alive. Dead or alive. Uh, if I had to invite anybody to dinner, um, this is such a cliche answer, but I would invite Jesus because I'd have a lot of questions. A lot of questions. <laughs> and you just want to ensure there's no lack of wine. Because <laughs> basically, I wouldn't have to pay so for clever. all any booze. <laughs> yeah. Water, uh, please. Yeah, it'd, it'd be tons, tons of questions. It would clear a lot of things up. How about that? No, because he only speaks in parables, and I feel like it would just ask, there would be more questions. According to text, <laughs> there would be more questions. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but yeah, mine's an easy one. Uh, uh, next question. Okay, next question. Wait, hold on. Wait, wait, hold on. Yeah, she's the I want to. I want to ask Cody that same question. Yeah. Liam Neeson. Because why Liam not? Liam Neeson. Because why not? Don't be so defensive. <laughs> I knew they're gonna question why <laughs> Liam Neeson. <laughs> you just say I will. Find L- you. Liam Neeson, because in case you get kidnapped, you think he'll you'll grow a bond with him and he'll save you. <laughs> I just feel like he's an authentic, cool guy, and I would. It'd be cool to hang out with him. Yeah. So. He's a nice, I, I he's feel a like, nice accent. I feel like he would care about me if I was in a haunted house. <laughs> the hell? Yeah, that's a reference <laughs> to his films. That's not who he is in real life. Oh. Dude, Cody has a very strong connection. <laughs> I have a strong connection with Liam Neeson. <laughs> I, I would ask... I'll have you know. I, I, okay, here's uh, along the lines of cliche. I'd ask Einstein. Yeah, th- those well, are the two most... And an interpreter. Uh, th- those are the yeah. two most common answers. To <laughs> and an interpreter. Like that conversation. Uh, uh, what, what, uh, what, qu- what specific questions would you want to ask him? Uh, well, uh, a- anything that would be a, a consequential, like he already kind of answered. But I would what, ask... What's, the, what's that whole relativity thing? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Was that real? <laughs> what, what a, from his perspective, what a bummer. Of a conversation. <laughs> yeah. uh, no, but I, I would ask about his, how he felt around like these strokes of insight. Like uh, I, I heard a reading a book and it, it put it really in an awesome way, which is like the modern version of the pyramids is uh, Einstein's like papers on relativity. Like it's like the modern wonders or whatever. And so I would just ask, like, dude, like, like what's it like to? To like have that thought and to be like, hey, everyone, guess what? I I know what reality is like and you don't. <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of an interesting question. <laughs> uh, what about you guys? What, what, who would you invite to dinner? Jeffrey Dahmer. I'm just kidding. Stop. <laughs> Jesus. I'm yeah. just kidding. <laughs> That's it? The opposite direction of Dylan there. Uh, Tim yeah. Allen, hands yeah. down. Tim Allen? Tim Allen. Joel, God bless you for because, marrying this <laughs> obviously. Ha- the, the first Catwoman. question would obviously be so. You're at the Santa Claus, right? Let's just be honest. Right. Yeah. Which, which which version of Tim Allen are we talking about? Scott Calvin. Scott Calvin. Okay. <laughs> got it. It's got it. Got to be that one version. of a kind, Nisa. One. Of a kind. <laughs> Joel, Joel, who would it be? Uh, you know, I would like to. You know, just offhand. I would like Tim to sit, sit down with, uh, you know, John Ritter. He just seems like a nice, decent human being. Okay. Three's Company. i never seen it. I wouldn't blame it's anyone okay. in this room for not knowing about Three's Company. <laughs> uh, all right, I got it. All right, next question. Let's, let's Okay, ne- next question. Dylan, when did you last sing to yourself? Oh. <laughs> right now, right now, just did it right now. Okay, stop. In love. What? <laughs> okay, uh, sing to myself. Um, like okay. Like, and what in, song in, was it? Like because I think everybody kind of like sings a song to themselves like in a car, or, like they're driving to work or something. So does that count, or is it like in a random circumstance where you wouldn't normally sing to yourself? That, I think no, I, I, think I would that say counts. that counts. Just the last song that yeah, you just just the, sang no to matter yourself. no matter what the last time you sang with no one around. Um, probably today at some point. Um, every time I hear the song "Staying Alive," 
that song is like. Did you hear it today? Yeah. Can you, I heard can it. You, can you go that high? <laughs> well, I didn't say I could sing it well. Okay. <laughs> I, I, I can definitely. Uh, I know the, a lot of the lyrics, though, to that song, and a lot of people are like, they know the chorus. Yeah. But a lot of people don't know the other words. A lot other, of, words, a lot of yeah. words in that song. And it's like, I know a lot of the other stanzas as well. So and other people are like, I don't know what the words are. I'm like, I know what he's saying. I know what's going on here. Just, just leave it to First me. First, I was afraid. <laughs> What? <laughs> okay, that's a different song. That's not the right one. Yep. But, uh, yeah. Staying uh, alive. Staying alive. Not, uh, was it? Not, um, what was, was it? Song? Cody? No, I can, no, no, I will survive. Yeah, that, that one. Uh, yeah, yeah, I did yesterday, I sang to myself. And I make up my own lyrics. Yeah, yeah, he does make up his own song. <laughs> why are you so, why are you so <laughs> angry about it? Well, that's true. <laughs> <laughs> Could you guys fight, please? <laughs> Wait, but hold on. It's, what was it a sing to yourself? Anything or sing to yourself like a like a song that you know. It like a song that you know. When did you last sing to yourself? Okay, so it's not songs. Well, I know the so that songs yeah. that yeah that, that I make up <laughs> pretty well. <laughs> oh right. man, uh, I sing in the shower, uh, getting ready to come over here. Sesame Street. What song? <laughs> yep, just bl- I just I bought a really expensive stereo system to yeah. blast Sesame Street songs. Just what only song? Cold it was. Water. Um, I just put on. Um, like my playlist on my phone, and I think it started with this. Is funny, actually. I don't care. Whatever. <laughs> I don't care what you guys think. Britney I mean, Spears. No, it was um, uh, it was Cardi B. <laughs> it was uh, oh, <laughs> it was uh, her. What well, was like one of her first big hits? Uh, I like it like that. That song. I like it like that. Yeah, it doesn't matter. I would pay so much money to hear you sing that. <laughs> yeah, that was. I was in the shower and I heard that come on, and I was. Doing my best. You were jamming. <laughs> feeling, feeling super confident. Yeah. Doing your best. Uh, Joel, Dude, I am never feel so Joel, feeling confident. Uh, in the mine shine. was Les Mis, uh, One Day More. It's true. I heard one it. Day More. Heart alert. Verify. Well, all right. I like that. That's did did you make? Did you bring Anissa into the living room, sit her down, and say, I need you to listen to something? I need you to, need to hear me out on this. <laughs> yeah. No, she was part this. of it, for sure. <laughs> Anissa, what was the last song you sang? Oh gosh, I wasn't ready for my answer. Um, I think you sing a lot. Oh, you know what? The last song I sang sing was a uh, Moana. Moana. Which, which song? Moana. Trump's Moana. Moana. Yeah. Mm-hmm. One, of the, Moana. one of those first songs. It's time we knew. The of more time you. Okay, that's what I sang. Well, I yeah, we go the last time you sang. Didn't see that one. Go All on. right. <clears throat> Next question, Dylan. If you were able to live to the age of ninety and retain either the mind or the body of a thirty-year-old. <laughs> for the last 60 years of your life, which would you want? The mind or the body? So basically, have this body right now. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Or right. the mind. At Definitely the, the mind. This, this is my body. <laughs> <laughs> You'd be a freak. Ain't got a sculpture. <laughs> Ain't got to cut it. Chiseled. Okay. Uh, yeah, I would easily say the mind. Wait, so like you're a 90 year old and you either have the mind of a 90 year old or the body of a 30 year old? So yeah, you, yes, you, yeah, exactly. yeah, yeah, exactly. You you okay. either have a youthful mind or a youthful body. Oh, we know. So you're at ninety years old, but you yes. either yes. have the mind of a thirty year old or the body of a thirty year old. Right. Yes. Oh, you oh, look then, good, then, then, but you don't know where you are. Oh, or then, you don't then, know where yeah. you are, and you look good. Yeah, that confused me more too. Yeah. Um, <laughs> well, no ninety year old knows the, the where one they where are. I have more knowledge. <laughs> the, the, whatever okay. is preferable. Okay. So you have the body of a ninety year old, but you have the mind of a thirty year old. Yes, yeah, that some, one definitely. Because I mean, Roger, I, I think uh, yeah, some ninety-year-olds got that. I, yeah. I, I don't. <laughs> it's what, not I don't know what. To be as much as it sucks getting vegetable. older and no one looks forward to it, I, I think wisdom outweighs physical benefits, thousand times over. Unless you're a female. Oh, see what he did there, but Anissa, tell him he's wrong. No, I would pick my body for sure, hundred <laughs> percent. <laughs> no, but, but hold on. Your question implies that no ninety-year-old is cognitively there, no matter what. You could get like correct, him. correct. <laughs> Thank you, Joe. Okay, just just as long as it's a flawed question. Yes. That, okay, but that's okay as long as we know that's the premise. We can we're all on the same page. Then okay. Assuming then I, you yeah. would be assuming otherwise. Basically, would you rather be like a thirty-year-old body or senile? Which one? Choose. <laughs> uh, by the way, choose the body because there's no other good question. <laughs> brain, brain, brain. <laughs> Brain, brain, brain. I that's want, I kind of want brain. to be ninety, and I want to be married with someone to, uh, that has the body of a thirty-year-old. <laughs> so, but, but, but the mind of a ninety-year-old. 
<laughs> or the, the body of a 90 year old. If, I mean, if they have to have a mind, yeah, sure. <laughs> the body of a 9 year old? So, is that the prerequisite? It's creepy. You want Maybe. a cadaver. <laughs> what about, <laughs> would, would you take cadaver. Joel at his body right now, or do you <laughs> want his mind uh, in 60 years? That's not the question, though. I know, but they're married, so they already... They already that was a question of you. Oh, that was my... Wait, can you repeat the question? Would I rather have Joel's body now? You uh, you already mind? tuned out. Um, His mind. It, yeah, yeah, that, that one. <laughs> not not yeah. that it's that great. I, I like how everybody's just better confused than his, his as to body. what this question is. <laughs> <Yeah>. Okay. <laughs> yeah, next question, please. Next question. Okay, Dylan, do you have a secret hunch about how you will die? Not so much of a secret. It's just, a, just <laughs> it's a common hunch. knowledge. It's it's a known hunch. <laughs> um, uh, no, <laughs> I, I did. That's, I, a, that's no. the only okay answer to this. Yeah, yeah. I, was say, I don't have any. I, well, I, uh, to be fair, my my fiance has had a hunch that she's not going to live past like forty. Like, a, has a, she explained why? That's very morbid. No, she just says that she just has a hunch that she just doesn't think she's going to make it that far. And I'm like, I don't know where you're getting that information. But she's like, it's, it's a hunch. It doesn't. It's not logical or anything. So I'm like, well, okay. But as far as I'm going, I'm like, yeah, I could die tomorrow. I could die at 102. I don't know. I don't. So, I don't got a clue. So she's though. going to take out a whole bunch of loans at like 39, 38. A whole bunch of life insurance <laughs> policies. Yeah. yeah well, that, that's what I'm going to do for her. Be like, okay, <laughs> yeah, well, right? make sure I'm getting paid. Uh, but yeah, me. Uh, yeah, probably cancer. <laughs> <laughs> let's just let's just play the numbers. <laughs> Chances are cancer. Yeah, that's how everyone dies. Pretty. You're right. <laughs> Joshua. Josh. Uh, Hernia. I mean, what'd you call me? Hernia. <laughs> um, yeah. Liver failure. Uh, no, uh, well, not a maybe. Yes, liver failure. I might die before then of something else, but I will die of liver failure. <laughs> Guaranteed. And that's not like, like maybe. Like it, I've been diagnosed. <laughs> like it, it's like it, it's, it's already. I, I have been given t- a timeline by a doctor, a professional. He definitely said you have like six months. <laughs> yeah. Um, anyway, uh, how about you two? How do you guys both think you're going to go out? Uh, yeah, I'm I'm with Cody. Uh, definitely cancer for sure, <laughs> dude. Right. We just it's riddled. All, we're all, riddled. We're all gonna die. <laughs> just r- riddled with cancer. Riddled. <laughs> Anissa, I well, I I just wanted to add. I have a feeling that Joel will go before me, and I'm like really not okay with it. So I have decided that when I see him start to decline, then I take action <laughs> somehow. <laughs> okay. Wait, what kind of action on him or action on yourself? <laughs> Action on herself. Action on myself. Yeah, I just really, I don't know. I just don't, I feel like it's selfish of Joel to go before me for some reason. I don't know why. Yeah, because yeah, it's my choice. <laughs> well, yeah, jo- Joel just, just decides. Yeah. How, da- how, da- how dare you? Uh, like he's going to leave me in this world. And- abandon your wife. Yeah. <laughs> uh, all right. Uh, n- next question. Okay, yeah. next question. Mm-hmm. Okay, Dylan. Uh, name three things that you and your partner appear to have in common. Um, a- appear, by the way. Appear. appear. Not actually. <laughs> it just yeah. seems yeah, n- like name it. three lies about you and your partner. Uh, appear to have in common. Uh, most, uh, most everything. Sounds weird. We even we both like girls. It's the weirdest. <laughs> thing. Jackpot. Yeah. <laughs> Um, yeah, no, like, I, I, when it comes to significant others, I am of the philosophy that the best advice I could give anybody, if you want to find your significant other, is that you have to have the same values, and her and I have the same values pretty much across the board. Um, we agree on um, religion, we agree on money, we agree on family, we agree on uh, uh the same movies, which is really important. Uh, but yeah, for the most part, I, I'd say just across the board, you name it, her and I pretty much have, I, I'm having a hard time finding things we don't have in common. Actually, what what movie does she like that you absolutely hate? That's a very good question, Joel. <laughs> I'm sure there's a question, or I'm sure there's an answer. Come back to me on that one. Let's get Cody's. Uh, Jubanji 2. Jubanji 2. Uh, I'll, circle back to me. Uh, let's, let's get Cody. I'll have to think about that one. No one hates Jumanji 2. Uh, uh, probably the fact that we're both uh, introverted. Introverted. Yeah. 
I feel like Karina is less introverted than you are, though. Well, I just, I'm more tired. <laughs> <laughs> I'm physically more tired. Constantly. I'm exhausted. She's <laughs> less dead I'm usually tired and bored. <laughs> you don't say. <laughs> Couldn't summarize you more. Yep. Okay, my turn. <laughs> okay. Oh, wait. Oh, no. <laughs> you don't got one. <laughs> we, okay, we list, list three things that you and your mom have in common, Josh. You, we are including you. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Uh, sexual preferences. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. go, both go after the same dudes. We like we we like toasted PB and J's. We uh, we we both uh, are gonna die of liver failure. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's yourself. You're describing yourself. This is deep. <laughs> Uh, wait, what was the original out. question? But your partner the has three in things common? that you appear to have in common. Okay, I, I'll say uh, rapid fire three things my ex and I had in common, which would be rifles, <laughs> our love of <laughs> muffins, fire, our love of polishing our rifles <laughs> in front of each other in a threatening way, making eye contact. We're in only our underwear, <laughs> bayonets. <laughs> Mine's old and yours. No, it's not. Um, <laughs> old revolutionary we, white rifle. Yeah, yeah. Mine's legit. So I, I would say we, we were both A-type personalities. We were both career-driven and uh, at times difficult to get along with. <laughs> Interesting. Yeah. Interesting. Uh, mine would be uh, we're both weird sometimes. Super weird. Yeah. <laughs> We we bond over that. Just, just mm-hmm. quiet for an hour after that. We like to see movies yeah. too. Just cut to them make it out and get off camera. I'm like, oh no, they're fighting. Just blurred out. Who's <laughs> oh, guys? This was a family friendly podcast. <laughs> and just a niece's super deep voice all of a sudden. <laughs> You're submissive. <laughs> all right, go on. So it was both weird, and then what else? Uh. That was that was it from for mine. All right. I, I I thought of I thought of the movie that she likes that I don't like, Guardians of the Galaxy. I do not like that movie. That's a very unpopular opinion. I don't know who here has seen that movie, but mm-hmm. I, only I thought it, I it. thought it was all right. It was all right. It wasn't special. Is that super the, overrated? I do not like that very movie. Very average. Yes. I okay. I'll I'll give you that. It's average, but everyone's like, oh, it's so great. I'm like, meh. Yeah, but, that, but that's me. But that's my opinion on most Marvel movies. Yeah, I, I probably am in the same boat with you, Joel. I just made a whole video about that. <laughs> How they're all like, yeah. they're okay. <laughs> but okay, great. Dylan. Next question: If you could change anything about the way you were raised, what would it be? Uh, I'd prefer to be the favorite child. <laughs> <laughs> oh, ain't gonna happen. Uh, no. I dance. See, that's my last time I sang. <laughs> Going to that question last time I sang, it was today. Changed it. <laughs> <laughs> Change my answer. And at the end it was an Ayuka. 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 Change anything about the way I was raised? I. This might be a cop out. This might be a cop out <laughs> answer, but I probably wouldn't change anything. Oh. Um. I I liked that. Uh. Between our side of the family and then this side of the family, because my parents are separated. I liked that I got two different perspectives and two different worlds that I got to share. So in that regard, I don't know what else I could ask for. So it wasn't like I was sheltered or I was not exposed to different viewpoints of certain things. So I do appreciate that I had a, uh, a broad spectrum to look at the world through. So don't know if I'd change much. How's that for, uh, <laughs> for deep intellectual conversation? You, dude. First time I touched you. What would you change, Cody? I, love it. Uh, <laughs> you're, I would you're, probably want to be like whipped around a little more. <laughs> <laughs> in in, in what me. way? Uh, uh, you weird. You know, BDSM just emotionally, <laughs> physically. You know, I think it was uh, ball gag. Maybe a little too easy for me. So I think maybe a little bit of slap here or there or whatever. <laughs> you, you wanted Dad to be more strict with you? Is that what yeah. You're saying? I wanted him to rough me up a little more. <laughs> you you wanted weird, him to fart in your face more? Yeah. <laughs> fetish. What's, what's going to be really weird is the next question. Did you want more leather in your childhood? It's <laughs> an obvious answer for Cody. I don't know. Yeah, it's all good. I don't think. Uh, yeah, same as Dylan. Yeah. It's good. good podcast. <laughs> Cut the credits. Cut the credits.
<laughs> hey, spice it up. Let's see what you got. Yeah, what do you got, Mr. Josh. Oh, we're gonna be here for ten hours. Him complaining about damn right. We got what thirty six questions. Yeah. yeah, we're not gonna get through all these. Sorry. Ones. Oh wait, sorry. Uh, some stuff. Next question. <laughs> what was the question? I really don't remember. Uh, it was what you changed about your childhood. Yes. Being raised. How would you change being raised? If you could change one yeah. thing about yeah. how you were raised. Yeah. How much time? Give all us, right, give us right, one. Right, right. Give I'll, us I'll, one. I'll whittle it down. Um, sorry, I have thoughts on things. A holes. Um, no, just give us one. Was I know, know? I know. I know. I know. Um, I I I would say expose. Okay. Exposure to more things. <laughs> exposure to what? Exposure to more things. Yeah, being exposed to more things. Like I think that's a that's like a really good tenant to believe in about when it comes to raising kids is like exposing them to lots of things and events and types of cultures and ways to think and blah blah blah. And, and so you're saying you were a little sheltered? Yes. Yeah, I would I would agree. I would say the same thing. Hmm. I feel yeah. like I was I was uh, <clears throat> too well sheltered. And like obviously nothing against my parents, they were just trying to do the best for me. But I feel like I would uh, have grown a little bit yeah. more if I was exposed to, like you said, different cultures, different, uh, you know, yeah. thought processes, mm-hmm. stuff like that. Yeah, not being sheltered is like a is like a step above being like uh, like good parents. Like that's being like being like great parents, like. We, we no one was hungry. We we're all clothed. <laughs> right. We all went to school. Uh, like that's most of the time. Starving right now. Most yeah. That, so so like we had that covered. But then like if you if if you did need to take it a step above, it would have been that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Got it. Anisa, what was yours? Uh, more presents. Next time, if uh, if you could wake <laughs> up tomorrow having gained one quality or ability, Dylan, what would it be? Gained one quality or ability. Correct. Six pack. Six pack. Uh, like realistically or like superpower-ish? Are we, are we keeping it in the realm of like practicality? Uh, anything. Uh, no, well, that's not, in, not okay, anything. Okay, fine, fine, fine. <laughs> Realistic. Yeah. Um, I would want the ability to read. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Dude, I, that would have been a spit take. If I had had. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I think... I would want to have more insight and knowledge about women. <laughs> yeah, not, the, not enough time in the world for that. Uh, probably more on investment levels, just more uh, financial. Yeah, oh, like boring. in terms of the, how markets work, and more like I'd want to be able to wake up and be like, I know exactly where I need to put my money. Mm-hmm. I know this is a trend that I should be looking at, and I know like the fluctuations of how they work. Uh, so basically, economics. I wish I had a lot more understanding of economics. Not that I mean, okay. it's not that I'm completely Boring. ignorant to it, but uh, yeah. Cody. Whoa, wow, uh, wow. Try, the 3D application Maya. I would love to master it completely, <laughs> and only two people, two percent of the people are going to know what I'm talking about. <laughs> oh, I know what you're talking about. We, okay, yeah, we, there you are. We read 2%. about it all the time. <laughs> yep. Endless <laughs> YouTube videos. I have all these 3D <laughs> models of Joel. I know. <laughs> I got them too. You, you sent them to me. Mm-hmm. <laughs> very detailed. Send me the blueprints. Very, very detailed. And That's the one reason he wants to master it. It's like more <laughs> so more accurately can... model Joel. Or his file, ideal file, version of the, it. The file can uh, barely uh, hold it. Of what I want Joel to be. I made him in my own image. Yeah, every time they, they, they pass one back and forth, can you imagine? <laughs> Uh, 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 so, so you have the program. You just you don't think you're as good as you could be at it. Well, I'm definitely not as good as I could be at it. There's endless things you can learn from it, and I have not even scratched. The Ma- Maya, pro- is yeah, it, is that the uh, is that a program that's used in like pro movies? Yes, mm-hmm. pretty much every feature film, yeah. Avengers. So yes. what's uh, what's what's stopping you from from being an expert? Nothing. It's Dick. just uh, there's a lot. <laughs> Yeah, well, a lot of it, takes, it just takes a lot of time and practice. This gets to a that. question that I've asked you many times, and I'm still not clear on, which is, like, if, if you have that program, and I think to a lot of people that, like, aren't in the industry or aren't used to being around whatever, like, you think, oh, you have the program, then you can do super awesome special effects. But it's that's not the case. It's like having a guitar, but that doesn't make you a good musician. Like, right. you have to be an artist and proficient mm-hmm. in that Mm-hmm. Right. With that tool, yeah, you can have the tool, but it's, you, if you don't know how to use it, you're not going to do anything with it. <laughs> I don't know. It's kind of fascinating to me because what that means is the tool doesn't 
it's not like a paint by numbers thing. Like, no. it still requires like artistry. Right. Interesting. Joshua, what was the uh, uh, the one trait or quality? Uh, quality or ability? Or ability. You Got it. Uh, um, I um, when it comes to like um, songwriting. <laughs> Period. <laughs> you just want to learn how to write songs. R.I.P. <laughs> R.I.P. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he couldn't handle it. Uh, no, like, use Inception music right there. Yeah, yeah. Cut. Please. Cut the black. Uh, yeah. No. Uh, t- like I've been doing music for a long time, but like um, songwriting is extremely difficult and extremely frustrating. I think that Josh, because Josh is a he's a talented musician. Oh my god! Thank you! Oh my god! Thank you! But, oh, he's soaking it up. But Part of he he's written a lot of stuff, and I think he's his own worst enemy yes. in sharing that mm-hmm. material. And it got him. It took him a lot of time and a lot of courage to share one piece with us when we were in Vegas last time. Mm-hmm. And Super drunk. We oh, we God. offered him a critique, and he was like, "Never again. Never nope. again. Yeah. Never gonna happen again." <laughs> no, no, you got, no, no. Look, obviously, I I need to be in a cave by myself in the Amazon, and I need to. I, I be a, I'm a leper, just unclean, unclean. <laughs> and we're gonna judge your song from Thousand Oaks, and you're gonna feel that judgment hit you in the Amazon. <laughs> Why are we in Thousand Oaks? <laughs> Thousand Oaks. <laughs> what the hell? Dude, the Two music over. the music mecca of the world. Hello. <laughs> Civic Arts Center. <laughs> Wait, so I'm there and you're in the Amazon? <laughs> no, you're in the Amazon in your cave. God, why are you in Thousand Oaks Civic Arts Center? <laughs> Dude, it's obvious. You don't go to the Civic Arts Center to write your music? <laughs> no, but what do you anyway? What do you think the Beach Boys did when they made Pet Sounds? <laughs> Civic God. Arts Center. Here we go. Anyways, yeah, no, I uh, <laughs> yes, I wish I wasn't as self conscious or as much of a critic, or uh, and just to do it and get whatever, get it over with. That was a weird conversation. I never had that answer. Your one ability. Uh, you know, I I I like the ability to. Um, retain all the information that yeah, I okay. try to absorb. Yeah. So I feel like I feel like I read a lot and like and and try to learn just different whatever and I feel like I only absorb like a small percent of that <laughs> over Dude. time and I would love just to know everything I read from yes. this point on. I I re-listened so I listened to audiobooks and I re-listened to one that I listened to a while back. And I knew I don't, I know I don't retain a lot, but I was like, I remember nothing from this. Right. This is the first yeah, time no. I have ever listened to this book. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. And, and and people will like mention like, oh, have you read this book? I'm like, no. And then I go back. I'm like, oh yeah, I definitely have read that one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it sucks. It sucks. <laughs> yeah. Oh man. Uh, Nisa, that's a good one. That's a good one. Um, I think I would pick the ability to speak like a, like perfect French or like a, a new language. That's a good perfectly. one. Perfectly. Like oh, specifically yeah. French? I well I've that's what I took in high school, so I I'd have the best shot. <laughs> but you could but you can speak any language <laughs> you want. Dothraki, probably. Dothraki. Yeah. So a fictional language. Perfect. <laughs> Dude. Okay, next question, Dylan. <laughs> if a crystal ball could tell you the truth about yourself, your life, the future, or anything else, what else do you want to know? Um I would want to know. Um, is there ever, ever a time? Well, you will be erect. Yeah. <laughs> One of these days. Uh, ever gonna happen. Oh, man. No, I want to know if there's Easy. ever a time where I should <laughs> stick to my guns. I made myself laugh on that and one. And <laughs> just can't of all things you've ever said. <laughs> yep, that one got That's the one. I, I want to know if there's ever a time where I should stick to my guns <laughs> and insist <laughs> that I'm right whenever I have a disagreement with my fiance. If there's ever a time where it's like, hold out, and she'll give in. Don't worry. It'll be okay. Or if I should just be like, nah, not worth it. Don't do it. You want to be omniscient about arguments with your wife. I I, I, want to know whether or not that's a good idea. I mean, that's not a bad thing to want. But you can do anything. It's like, 
<laughs> anything, I'd be like, should I ever hold out on that? No, I feel like if you asked any married man and, and you made him uh, conscious of that option beforehand, he would say, oh, that one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's the one I want. Uh, go, go for it. Uh, I would want to know on my deathbed what I would would, would have regretted from my life. Mm, that's good. Hmm. That's a good one. You know, they did, they did a study on that, and like, what, 80% of them said that they just regret doing the things that they wanted to do. Mm-hmm. Period. It's usually, it, it's usually they regret it they not doing do. enough overtime at work. <laughs> yeah well that's probably the biggest shame about it is that that regret is 100 percent 100 percent like you're able to anticipate that regret mm-hmm. it doesn't require right yeah it's, it, it's not like you you have an epiphany at 90 years old exactly like you, you, you it, know you, you kind of know going into it it's you you didn't follow your passion spend enough time with your kids or wife or like whatever like that's yeah anyways uh, but 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 to to, 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 to their <laughs> to their point though I mean it is when you're in the middle especially like when it comes to like if you're if you have kids and you're like working so much where you can't spend enough time with them a lot of times those dudes or women whatever aren't aren't even thinking about like oh the, I ha- there's an opportunity cost here of working too much like I'm not spending yeah. enough time with the kids they, they don't even like realize that they are spending they're not spending enough time with their kids until it's yeah. too late mm-hmm. um, yeah. so I, I understand that aspect but yeah a lot of the times you know especially with with people who just you know enjoy staying inside all the time 24 7 and that's just like what they think they enjoy and then by the end of their life they're like I probably should have got outside <laughs> yeah you know every, every so often <laughs> yeah. yes Absolutely. Gotcha. Yeah. The question was... Uh, Crystal Ball could tell you anything about your life or things that you should have done. Or yeah. Um, <clears throat> basically, like, if I could have an insight about myself. Mm-hmm. Sure. Um, uh, it, it would be uh, like if the things I spend a lot of time stressing about are... Not, I don't even need to know that they're the things that are the best things to stress about, as long as they're in like the realm. And I'm not a hundred percent off base. So you're not. So basically, so you're not wasting your time stressing about something that doesn't matter. Uh, yeah, I mean, like, yeah. There's always like ways to optimize your efforts or your attention or your intention or like um, how you spend your time or your efforts or whatever. Like, yeah, I'm sure there's, I, I am presently knowledgeable about ways I can improve that, but like, I just want to know I'm not a hundred percent off base. All right. Yeah. Uh, I would, I would probably agree with, uh, with Cody on that. I, I like his answer of, of kind of knowing what I would potentially regret if I didn't do it. Um, yeah, that'd be nice to know I think you might regret not buying me more presents (laughs) (laughs) so I suggest you're going to regret that you're you're dying and your wife is super healthy (laughs) (laughs) yeah (laughs) dang those beats your your wife your 90 year old wife has the body of a 30 year old I will will never regret that (laughs) yeah I don't that's what you're I wish my wife looked older. <laughs> Why can't she match my body type? Yeah. What's yours? Um, I think I would love to know what our cats are thinking. Oh my god. <laughs> Dude, Joel, God bless you. And whatever government program led you to marrying this woman. I think that's a I think that's a good question. What do you think they're thinking about? I don't know. I wonder, like, do you actually like me? Do I just am I just the provider of food? You know, that what one. are you thinking? What do you think they're thinking about most of the day? Like, uh, when and am I going to eat next? So they're very much like human beings. <laughs> yeah, yeah, in that way, we have that in common. Yeah. Yeah. Got it. That's what I want to know. All right. Yeah, if you stop feeding Joel, he would have nothing to do with you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, Dylan, next question. What is the greatest accomplishment of your life? kind of a heavy greatest question. accomplishment of my life um the fact that i got out of the friend zone that's a pretty big one 
<laughs> no, that's, yeah, I you're in a say, small club. I'm yeah, pretty proud is, of that one. That is yeah. the most pathetic answer. Now, listen, <laughs> how many times have you gotten out of the friend zone? Zero, idiot! Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I'm in a very small club, and I'm very proud of it. Um, on, on a... On a, a like professional level, making the movie, that's like, that was the biggest check off my bucket list, like ever. Um, but I mean, if I'm being honest, I, I could not be happier with the person I'm going to marry. So, and the fact that we were friends before just says, a Where lot. did you and Amanda first meet? We met at a Christmas party in 2010, and she lived halfway across the country at the time. Mutual uh, friends, or? Yeah. Uh, we had a mutual acquaintance of friends, and uh, yeah, we just stayed in touch, and I was super in the friend zone. Did you stay in touch because you were attracted to this woman? No, not necessarily. I mean, I didn't <laughs> give it the... I did find... I always found her attractive, but because she lived halfway across the country, I didn't give it two seconds of thought, like, oh, this will be a thing one day. Um, but we always stayed in touch. We never lost contact, and again, I'm just... I, I always like to just brag about it, be like, I got out of the friend zone. How many times have you come across a guy that says, "Yeah, I got out of the friend zone"? Very. So rare. you you met her this at this one event, and that was the only contact you had before staying in touch. Yeah, and we never lost touch through, and we were friends for seven years via and, like Facebook. Yeah, we and the longest her and I ever went without like some sort of uh, interaction, like a personal interaction, was maybe three months in that entire span of time. And that was like via like Facebook messages. Yeah, yeah, Facebook or Skype or just staying in touch. Just like, hi, how you doing? And we both dated other people while we stayed in touch. When you met each other at this Christmas party, what was the dynamic? Hey, I know a person you know, and like we're... Uh, to be fair, I did see a picture of her like through like my our mutual friend's Facebook. So I had seen her before, but like I never actually met her. Uh, so when I did speak to her, it was just, you know, it's casual party conversation. Just talking about random stupid stuff. We were in the kitchen of this person's house and... I remember we were talking about this large jar of oats. Joel was at that party, actually. Uh, <laughs> this random stupid stuff. I was, I was inside the oats. <laughs> yeah, Joel was in the oats. It's a weird game show. Yeah. You said that like you said that like you know when you meet a girl, there's a large jar, jar of, oats. of oats. It's just there, <laughs> you know, and oats. Yeah, the, yeah, the Christmas but, party uh, decoration. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I'm stuck inside, Dylan. Help yeah. me. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, it, it is. I, I I know a lot of guys, pretty much every guy that has tried to get out of the friend zone and failed. See, and this is this it. is why I would love for Amanda to be on the podcast because I want to hear her perspective I'm of this telling timeline. You, I would love to have her on, he, but we need he to wouldn't pressure shut her. up about this damn jar of oats. <laughs> 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 this is the best thing. The jar of oats really brought us together. Yeah. Marriage started off a jar of oats. Anyway, that's mine, Cody. Uh, biggest accomplishment. Um. Well, yeah, it'd be the movie that I've been making for twelve years, and this is the third time I've talked about it, and I'm sick of talking about it. I think we. Uh, yeah, that's that's probably it. Are we still on the due date that we talked about it last time? Yeah, pretty much tentatively. <laughs> <laughs> pretty there's much. a. It there, could move to 2021. You never know. <laughs> you never know. We'll play it by ear. Biggest accomplishment. Um. I uh, I have. The company I, I work for, um, I'm like the oldest employee because everyone gets fired all the time. And uh, they didn't want to be fired. So. <laughs> what, a weird, they didn't, what, what a weird goal. <laughs> they didn't want to be fired? Yeah, can you imagine? <laughs> yeah, and so I'm like the only person that like didn't want to be fired who didn't get fired. <laughs> year after year. So that's a pretty cool thing. Mm -hmm. Well done. All right. <clears throat> All right. Mine's uh, uh mine's probably um marrying this girl. Oh, 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 oh god. He's a cannibal. Dude, <laughs> subscribe. Subscribe to oh Twitter. My god. Subscribe to YouTube. <laughs> subscribe to Twitter. You're saying it for her cuz she's going to be dead. <laughs> <laughs> subscribe to Twitter. <laughs> Subscribe to Twitter. Twitter first. I panicked. I panicked. <laughs> no one says Twitter. Buy either. our books. Buy our books. <laughs> Listen to our movies. Look, oh, dude, I, 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 I saw what happened, and I knew that. I the end. knew it wasn't okay. <laughs> yeah. She's not going to be able to do the outro. <laughs> um, the only thing I wanted to uh, do. Yeah. Well. That's good. Oh, thank you. You're welcome. Thanks. That was just for you. Oh. What's yours? Mine. And if you don't see me, I swear to God, we're over. <laughs> 
uh, in addition to marrying Joel, <laughs> probably getting my master's degree was my greatest oh. accomplishment. You're, mm. you're the only person in this room that can say that. Yeah, no. So okay, that's good. This is like our last question, so it, it hopefully this question. one makes that us fall a, in love with each other. That was thirty-six. Um, yeah, that was not thirty-six. <laughs> <laughs> you're, yeah, you're, yeah. Yeah. No, what it means is like, that like survivors coming on again. Yeah, uh, yeah. I'm, it's almost time. It, yeah, it starts at eight thirty, so gotta yep. get on. Mm-hmm. Um, um, Girl, what I'm is quit? What is your most treasured memory? Oh, when I found treasure, my most treasured memory. <laughs> my most treasured. <laughs> oh my god! <gosh>. Boolean. Um. <laughs> uh, my most treasured <laughs> memory. I mean, I don't know if I have one in particular that stands out more than an, another. Well, then don't answer. Yeah, let's move on. Cut. Um, <laughs> That'd be an awesome end to the podcast. <laughs> uh, yeah, I don't really have like a. Yeah, like I don't think there's one that is like the the pillar of like highest treasured memory here, but I do know that in terms of. Um, general, like, times I look back on and, like, I was, like, those were, like, the heightened times of, like, childhood, if you will, where, like, the, the summers where Cody and I would, uh, have the house to ourself, uh, where our mom would go to work and we just basically do whatever Scar we face wanted. On so basically, it was, like, it was, <laughs> we'd, we'd suck face all day long. Um. <laughs> cocaine. Yeah. In our sweatpants. No, but it, basically, it was, like, you're at that height of childhood with... <laughs> The most awareness with the least amount of responsibility. So you're like, I can take care of myself, but I don't have to do anything that is of like work, if you will. So those were uh, very, very fond memories, if you will. Cody? Oh, uh, yeah. I would say something along those lines, uh, making skits. Hmm. That was oh. fun. Maybe one day we'll go back to doing those guys. Yeah. Aww. Maybe one day, but we got responsibilities now. <laughs> what are you talking about? We can make it happen. <laughs> We're not too we can lazy. barely do this. <laughs> I know. Tell me about it. <laughs> Mine is the the outtake in Crider when I'm on the steering wheel. <laughs> <laughs> that was yes. the hardest. That was one of the hardest things we had to film. I was. still, to this day, does that outtake exist anywhere? Yeah. That, that footage. Those it's footage? it's yeah. Uh, yeah. See that hard drive on the ground over there? <laughs> it's <laughs> it's in there somewhere. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, accomplishment. I don't know. Next question. I'll pass. <gasps> Accomplishment. It's a most treasured memory. Most oh, treasured sorry. Memory. Yeah, I'll pass. Uh, treasured memory. Uh, I don't know. It's a hard, it's, uh, that's like a really Being hard Being bit question. by grandma's neighbor's dog. <laughs> <laughs> yep. You got it. Yep. I still got a scar in my uh, on on my hip that um, is the uh, real reason no one's ever seen me naked. Do you, do you have a scar? I don't think so. I, I've, I've never seen so. myself naked. <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> She's a uh, weird baby treasured memory. Oh, uh, I have no idea. Um, um, the Pack Pack premiere. <laughs> that, I mean, that was like that. I don't know if I, I wouldn't want that would be, to be it. <laughs> but that was like a pretty cool memory. <laughs> um, no, I mean, th- there were times when I was still in bands and like playing live music on a pretty regular basis, and like we played some pretty big places. And so, uh, all right, here's, uh, I don't know if this would be it, but I'll I'll go with um, right before I stopped playing live music on a regular basis, uh, the band I was in uh, played at Ventura Theater, and so it was just a three piece band. It was a band I was singing in, and we played to like a packed house at Ventura Theater, and uh, that was pretty cool. I'll go with that. All right. Hmm. Got that. Not the yeah. specific art. Bring us home, guys. <laughs> what do you guys got? Yeah. Treasured memories. One of my most treasured memories is being in Palm Springs. <laughs> this is, I don't know, 95, 96. And Josh was... I think was, I know what you're about to say. Yeah, Josh I, was, I don't know why you've mentioned this before. <laughs> this is the weirdest Josh fucking was, thing in the was, world. Was throwing donuts at the door yes. and uh, yes. spraying cheese yes. whiz on the walls was the funniest thing to me as a young. You know what? No, I knew th- I knew you were gonna say that when you said Palm Springs, and I don't know why, but you have. And for everyone, anyone who's still listening at this point, this is a sincere answer because Joel has brought this up multiple times, <laughs> and I will continue the- to do so. 
Of all the I, jokes I've made it, in my life, the funniest thing apparently I've ever done is throw donuts at a door and put yeah. cheeses and, 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 and cheese on the it's wall. Cheeses. It's, cheeses. it's only because, and, and if, if you did it today, you'd be like, man, that's weird. But it's oh, and, only I, and I will because the age group I was in, and it, it just it burned into my into my brain <laughs> that image, and it was just that, the funniest thing to me. And that now donut it's, hitting it, that it, wall, I can't shake it. What, 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 why was I throwing donuts against the it wall? It does. There's no reason for you to throw donuts at a wall, Joel. That's I would why it was never so funny. throw donuts at the wall without good cause. <laughs> yeah, it's all he talks about, really, mm. all, yeah. all the time, every night. Yeah. Can you throw donuts like Josh did? <laughs> Joel, stop! <laughs> <laughs> I can't do it. Put put these <laughs> jeans on from the Gap. Put I just, these yeah. Gap jeans on. I just I just look up. On. I just look up lovingly. <laughs> Can you throw donuts like Josh did? <laughs> Don't forget the whiz. Don't forget the whiz. Don't forget the whiz. <laughs> Don't forget the whiz. <laughs> the whiz, whiz. Anissa, God. what's oh, your uh, most treasured memory? Uh, my most treasured memory is Joel telling me his wedding vows because I think they were the most beautiful thing I've ever heard from anybody. Yeah, they were. That's well, my most there's treasured no better memory. way to close out a podcast than wedding vows from Joel. So yep. hit it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I think no. uh, did a good <laughs> job. Thank you, Anissa, for coming on the podcast. We definitely need to get you back on here again. And uh, apparently, Joel's going to be visiting soon, but you won't be. And it's just it's trouble in paradise. Memorial as as Day. I don't know what's going on, guys. <laughs> well, she'll be on LA. I'll be here, be. just somewhere else. Somewhere else. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, we'll get together soon. And we'll do this again. But until then, what should people do, uh, Anissa? Check us out on. <laughs> <laughs> Check out that cousin channel on YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, SoundCloud, and iTunes. Yep, and if you guys want to donate one dollar, uh, we'll get to the place where uh, Joel and Anissa can afford electricity. <laughs> Good luck. Or even a candle will do. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, from Bed Bath and Beyond. All right. Well, uh, thank you, everybody. Bye. See you. <laughs>